toxicity that has in the past been associated with primary elections in Zimbabwe's political arena is the inspiration behind this new candidate selection template. It's a process that is fresh, that is new, and directly in line with our philosophy that the new citizen movement will put the people back into our politics in Zimbabwe. They must have a strong say in any issue that affects them. Now obviously, with any innovation or the rollout of any new system, there are bound to be technical glitches. And as you're shortly going to hear from our Secretary for Elections, Councillor Ian Marconi, Ian Marconi, a total of 143 by-elections are scheduled to take place throughout Zimbabwe on the 26th of March, 2022. Now, we only had minor irregularities in only three out of these 143 vacancies. Now, that presents, just to put it in its proper perspective, a success rate of 98%, where we fielded candidates without incident following a very successful pilot community candidate selection process that took place recently. We obviously know that this is a period of transition, of flux, and creating a brand new machine. But for a new baby that was only born on Monday, that's not a bad show. However, we've committed to do things differently, to be accountable and to be transparent to the public, the citizens whom we represent. And so that very small 2% has to be explained, which is why we're here today. The so-called double candidate saga. You're going to see very shortly that it's very much a storm in a teacup. President Nelson Chamisa on Monday, in his big announcement, said that these by-elections are an appetizer for 2023. So it's good that these glitches are coming up now while we still have the opportunity to ensure that we correct the errors, ensure that we optimize for total success in 2023. That rectification process commenced immediately after nomination court sat yesterday. And as you will hear, of the three double candidate, candidate incidents, there have already been withdrawals from two candidates in line with our electoral law. So we only have one incident left. This, remember, is a tot out of a total of 143 by-election vacancies. This means that only one vacancy remains. We guarantee that it's going to be solved in a matter of hours, the same way the other two were. And so, ladies and gentlemen, what's clear is that we're staring success in the face. We wish to thank all the citizens that participated in our stakeholder cons consultation process. We'd like to thank all of those who've offered themselves to stand on behalf of the Citizens Coalition for Change. And most importantly, we'd like to thank the important men and women who've been working tirelessly in the back room to ensure that all our processes, all our papers are together. They've managed in multiple provinces in the country to ensure that all our nomination papers are properly filed. And so the critical thing, ladies and gentlemen, is this. Let's make sure that in all things, we remember the central goal. That's to win six million votes in the presidential election in 2023. To ensure that we've got a two-thirds majority in parliament and clean sweeps in local government. The yellow train is moving, and we call for all citizens to register to vote for change and for transformation so that we eradicate poverty, ensure that teachers and doctors are paid a living wage, to ensure that our young children stare in the face a bright future, and every person has food on the table. There must be freedom, fairness, and opportunity for all. So without further ado, I'm going to defer to uh, the more intelligent one, 
our councillor secretary for uh, in, uh, elections in the Citizens Coalition for Change, Councillor Ian Mapon, who's going to give a more technical report, report over what transpired and also just shed some light uh, over the flashpoints that we see as, a, uh, as important as we march towards the election. Thank you. Well, after such a, an eloquent presentation, I don't think mine will be necessary. Um, but um, I'd like to recognize our Secretary General, Charlton Wende, um, the, our leader Bondo, uh, otherwise Epson Jitziwa, and um, the, the advocate, the, the Mafume, uh, who is also responsible for our local government and uh, working is, is, is um, a, a, a deputy a, a secretary for communications in the of Star Wars, who is familiar to you all. I also recognize uh, a host in the province, uh, Honorable Chikombo. And I greet you all. Uh, we are delighted to be meeting you for the first time since proclamation of the by-elections to be held on the 26th of March. In the build-up to the nominations that took place yesterday in 22 constituencies and 121 local authority wards, there was much public interest and speculation over the vehicle that our party would use in the contest. We are pleased that any speculation on that score is now a thing of the past. And uh, Leader Mahere has already eloquently put that one to rest. We are a new kid with a new name, a new vision that is embedded among the citizenry, creating a future that is long overdue. The advent of CCC has been met with much excitement, and we stand ready not to disappoint the people of Zimbabwe as we journey through these by-elections towards 2023. The by-elections are largely about returning to voters what they were robbed of through recalls that were intended to silence the alternative voices in this country. These recalls added to denial by force to the occupation of our party headquarters, the evasion of legitimate state funding, and many other adversarial actions were intended to cripple, but the party is standing and ready for the fight. There was joy and jubilation <clears throat> at all nomination courts, and the team is ready to take up their rightful places in parliament and local authorities. To resume the work with, for which they were originally elected in 2018 and to serve Zimbabwe. As a matter of fact, the excitement was such that a couple of, in a couple of areas, second candidates slipped in the nomination uh, under the CCC brand. Uh, Fazai has already uh, updated you on the latest situation. Uh, we will end up with single candidates for each contested seat. CCC assures residents that the mess created by the recalls and unconstitutional interference by central government will be reversed and services will steadily return to normal as we prepare for the next harmonized elections. We urge citizens to take ownership of the voter registration blitz when it commences on 1 February. Their vote is their passport to livelihoods, to governance, and the economy. This bliss is the single opportunity there is for all unregistered citizens of voting age to claim their right to vote and determine the future direction of this great nation. We thus call upon ZEC 
and the Registrar General not to fail the citizens by making it easy for people to register close to their homes. We shall continuously visit this theme throughout the year and especially during the election and voter registration campaigns. We restart that the citizens were at the center of our selection candidates as already been outlined and they will be at the center of our election campaign just as they will own the election results. We continue to demand an even playing field in the state media, demand free political activities for all contestants, as well as an end to the abuse of state institutions, including traditional leaders and the security services, for whom we have high regard. I decided to keep it nice and short, but there it is, and we are happy to take any questions. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Secretary Ian Makone. And I just